I have known her a very long time. But perhaps it did all happen rather swiftly. Ah, huh? uh, swift because you... Are you going to duel with your own brother? <laughs> oh. So you might have seen the Bridgerton season 4 set photos showcasing that iconic masquerade dance between Benedict and Sophie, but what else can we expect this season? We're pretty curious about what happens to Sophie after the events of the book, and there are definitely some surprises we might not see coming in season 4. Let's dive into what we're anticipating and what's been happening with the new season so far. Also, it's worth mentioning that Bridgerton could really mess up if Simone Ashley's Kate doesn't return for Season 4. Now that Bridgerton Season 4 is officially all about Benedict, it's time for the show to introduce its take on Sophie Beckett. Since launching in 2020, Bridgerton has dedicated each season to the love stories of different Bridgerton siblings. Season 1 focused on Daphne, Season 2 was all about Anthony, and Season 3 took a twist by highlighting Colin. Now it's Benedict's moment to shine, but we can expect some fresh faces that will play a big role in his storyline. Benedict's romantic journey has had its ups and downs. In Season 1, he was portrayed as the free-spirited artist who didn't let society's rules cramp his style. He painted, had flings with both men and women, and lived life on his own terms. However, Season 2 saw him struggle with his confidence after getting into a prestigious art school, primarily due to his family name. Then in Season 3, he had a brief unique affair with Lady Tilly Arnold, which fizzled out when she developed feelings. But with Sophie, things are set to take a different turn. Benedict's love story in Bridgerton kicks off at his mother's masquerade ball. At the end of Season 3, he tells Eloise about the event and she promises to attend. During the ball, Benedict is captivated by a masked woman he calls the Lady in Silver. Although he never learns her name, they quickly become infatuated with each other. Their first meeting has a real Cinderella vibe complete with a hidden identity. However, unlike previous love interests in Bridgerton, Sophie isn't your typical Lady of the Ton. She's the illegitimate daughter of the Earl of Pentwood, and after her father passed away, her stepmother forced her into servitude. This pushed Sophie out of the ton and into the lower class, preventing her from participating in the courting season or mingling with people like Benedict. But fate has other plans for them at the masquerade ball, setting the stage for their unexpected connection. After the masquerade ball, Benedict and Sophie don't see each other for two whole years. During this time, Sophie gets fired by her stepmother and needs to find a new job. Meanwhile, Benedict is on a mission to track down the Lady in Silver. Eventually, fate brings them back together at Philip Cavender's house, where Benedict rescues Sophie from a tricky situation. They end up spending a few days together, but Benedict has no idea that Sophie is his long-lost Lady in Silver. Benedict eventually persuades Sophie to work as a maid in the Bridgerton household so they can stay close. However, there's a big hurdle between them. Sophie's illegitimate birth. Because of his social status, Benedict is expected to marry someone from the ton, which means Sophie could never be more than his mistress. This really troubles her, especially since her own background has caused her so many issues throughout her life. For them to get married, they'll need to tackle Sophie's fears and find a way to be together as husband and wife rather than lord and mistress. Just a few months after it was announced that Benedict would be the next star of Bridgerton, we found out who would be playing Sophie Beckett. In a video shared by Netflix, they revealed that Yaren Ha would take on the role of Sophie in Season 4. The video features Ha browsing through a rack of dresses and ultimately choosing the silver ensemble that earns her the nickname The Lady in Silver. Her casting had been buzzing around for a few weeks before the official word came out. Erin Ha is a Korean-Australian actress who kicked off her on-screen career in 2019. She really broke through when she starred in the Halo adaptation for Paramount+, Plus, and in 2022, she made her film debut in the Australian horror flick Sissy. Alongside her role as Sophie in Bridgerton, she is also set to appear in HBO's upcoming Dune prequel series, Dune Prophecy. Ha is off to a strong start in Hollywood, but playing Sophie is one of her biggest gigs yet. 
Bridgerton is known for making changes from Julia Quinn's original books, and this season is no different. For instance, Benedict's bisexuality is a new addition that isn't part of the books. They've also reworked Sophie Beckett into Sophie Bake, a nod to Ha's cultural background. Speaking to Netflix's To Dumb, Ha emphasized how significant a character's name can be for their identity, noting that changing Sophie's name to better reflect her appearance is empowering. A name is the first bit of identity that you share with the world, and that's why changing a name can be so powerful. To make Sophie's name fit someone who looks like me is really empowering. All credit to Jess Brownell, our showrunner. This means that not only will Sophie be portrayed by a Korean actress, but her character will also be canonically Korean. Plus, Sophie's storyline will differ a bit due to Benedict's bisexuality, adding more depth and complexity to their romance that isn't in the source material. Lastly, it looks like Bridgerton won't have a significant time jump in Season 4, even though we might have to wait until 2026 for its return. As for what happens to Sophie after her and Benedict's book, her story follows a pretty familiar path like other happy couples in Bridgerton. Sophie and Benedict tie the knot and eventually start a family. One interesting twist is that Sophie improves her relationship with her stepsisters and even helps arrange one of their marriages. This could definitely be a plotline that gets explored in Season 5 and beyond. However, if we go strictly by the source material, it seems like Sophie and Benedict will mostly settle into marital bliss after their season. The casting of Yeren Ha as Sophie Bake is super exciting, and considering how Benedict has been developed so far, Season 4 could take a fresh spin on the story that fans will love. It might even turn Bridgerton's own version of the Cinderella tale, especially since Benedict's journey often draws comparisons to that classic narrative. Now what's our take on the first images of Benedict and Sophie's masquerade meeting? As someone who's read the Bridgerton books, I couldn't help but get emotional seeing the masquerade scene come to life. It's a pivotal event that shifts Benedict's views on love and marriage, and Sophie's background plays a huge role in that. He's such a fan-favorite character, so it was disappointing to see his story delayed. But these images mean we're one step closer to finally seeing Benedict's journey unfold on screen, especially after his arc felt a bit uneven in Season 3. While it's exciting to see the Masquerade Ball recreated, there are still questions about how much Season 4 will diverge from the novel. Book Benedict has a bit of an aggressive edge when interacting with Sophie, which doesn't quite match the respectful portrayal we see in the show. Hopefully, Season 4 strikes a balance by staying true to the source material while adapting Benedict's character to fit the show's tone. That said, if Bridgerton Season 4 doesn't bring back Simone Ashley as Kate Sharma, it'll be a huge misstep. Production has kicked off, and while we're seeing some exciting set photos of Benedict and Sophie's iconic masquerade dance, Kate's absence from the official cast list is concerning. Sure, Anthony is confirmed, but Kate is such a fan favorite, and her role is essential to the family dynamic, especially now that they have a baby. If the show skips out on Kate, they'd miss a chance to deepen the story and the connection with Sophie, who could really use her support. Let's hope Kate returns! And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay in the loop. And hey, if you want, hit that notification bell so you never miss an update.